Greetings, fellow PC Gen enthusiasts. It's Andrew, Data Monkey with PC Gen, coming today with a request from a user on our list file help Yahoo group on how to do equipment today. Uh, hopefully, you can all see the uh, website HTML here. Uh, I've already pre selected over to the equipment file tags under our. <coughs> Under our list uh, tag index here to show that we have uh, quite a few tags that go with equipment. Now PCGen uh, has one equipment file that we put all of our equipment in, but we break those down into four main groupings, as it were. Uh, you have your weapons, your armor, your shields, and then everything else. And within those groupings, you actually can break it down even further. Weapons, you can go between melee and ranged, and then for ranged you've got the normal range, which is 10 range increments if you're doing the Pathfinder or 3.5e, or uh, down to 5 range increments when you have a thrown weapon. So as you can, as you can see, there's a lot of versatility here. Um, so we'll go ahead and throw together a few equipment pieces today, and uh, go ahead and go over to our My Equipment. <coughs> Well, once again, this is in the My Homebrew folder found in your PC Gen. This is under the Pathfinder in, in data. Uh, as I said before, we did reorganize a few things. Uh, if you don't have a Pathfinder with the Homebrew folder at this time, you will find your own Homebrew folder in the main data folder. Um, so we just went ahead and opened up the My Equipment and the My Equip mods just to show you a few examples here. Now, PC Gen does come with its own examples that we threw in here for you to begin with. So the first item is a weapon. This is a dagger. Um, and dagger is uh, defined with its proficiency. We actually have three different proficiencies, the weapon, armor, and shield. And the reason why we have a proficiency tag for it is so PC Gen knows when to apply the uh, penalties if you're not proficient uh, from the game mode. Um, so in order to make this a weapon, first we need to have it attached to a weapon proficiency. Uh, that's step one. And then step two is you have to have a type tag that actually designates this as a weapon. That's the weapon tag right there. And if it's a designated as a weapon, you also have to subcategorize it whether it's a melee or ranged. And for a dagger, you can have it as both. As you can see we have melee, ranged, and thrown here. And then you can just add all the other types. Uh, finessable <coughs> is one of our custom uh, types that we have later on where we can tell PC Gen, okay, a finessable weapon can get the dexterity uh, applied. Uh, simple is for your um, three different groupings of uh, proficiency, whether it's a simple weapon proficiency, a martial, or an exotic. We usually just put that in there. Uh, I'm going to pull up the weapon proficiency file because this is actually a, a key designator here. The weapon proficiency file is where you would put the simple, the martial, or the exotic. We only need those here. We add them to the equipment file itself just to keep it uh, easier for us. But you could omit that as long as it's here, PC Gen will know Hey, when I'm looking for the weapon proficiencies, a dagger is a simple weapon proficiency or a martial weapon proficiency or an exotic weapon proficiency. <coughs> Moving along, we also designate what type of damage it does on the types. Uh, so we have piercing and slashing. Um, and then we also added, hey, it's a dagger on the end here. Cost is optional. If you don't have a cost, it defaults to zero. But for most equipment, you're going to have a cost. WT is our weight, and this is in pounds. You can do one pound, or a tenth of a pound, or 0 0.01 of a pound. Moving along, the crit multiplier and the crit range are equipment specific. So this is going to work with equipment. When you look at the OS, it will say 19 through 20 does times 2 damage. 
So if we have a crit range of 1, that is translated to a 20. Crit range of 2 is the 19 to 20. And then if you do times 3 or times 4, that's going to output next to the item in question. The damage tag is a simple damage tag. It will take a die uh, readout here. 1d4. You can also do 1d4 plus 1. Um, that's only if the weapon actually does a plus 1 on top of everything else. Don't factor in strength or any other uh, bonuses here. However, it will not take another die. So you can't do a 1d4 plus a 1d8. If this is a uh, double weapon, you can do alt damage. And this will designate the second head as an alternate damage. If you're going to do that, you need to place the double tag on the weapon itself. And then you have what we have is the alt damage, alt crit malt, and, and all that stuff that can go along there as well. Equipment modifier t uh, tag here will pull in whatever's in your equipment mod. This one is just an example and it shows masterwork. So if I were to use this one, I go over here and put that on there. Now this designates this as a masterwork dagger. This is when you're doing your more customized equipment. Um, and if you're using wield categories, <coughs> sorry about that. When you're using wield categories, we have the designation of light. This is a light weapon in 3.5e. If this was a, uh, <coughs> a 3e game mode version, it would go by size, and the size would be, I believe, tiny. Uh, so there's different roles for that. Range designates how many uh, feet you, you have for each range increment. This is a dagger. It goes in range increments of 10. And since it's a thrown weapon, which is designated over here, when it's processed by PC Gen, it will throw up only 5 range increments. So this is a 10 to 50 range. And then this is sized in 3.5e, or Pathfinder, for a medium-sized character. And that is a basic weapon. If I want to make a shield, shields are pretty easy. You just shield light, you proficiency tag, and then what proficiency you want to give this if it's an exotic or, or whatever. As long as your shield proficiency matches what you have in your shield proficiency file, you can name it whatever you want. Type shield is uh, sufficient. You can designate whether it's a light shield or a heavy shield, and that comes in the factor when it's looking at equipment. Once again, you give your cost, and shields can give a um, armor check penalty. So that's right here, the AC check. Since a light shield should be doing, a, I believe, a minus one, we'll put in a minus one here. And since a shield should be giving us a combat AC bonus, we'll give it a one. And then we add the type shield to the end. And this will flag it in the op, uh, output sheet that this is a shield bonus. And that actually correlates into the game mode, and that's actually an advanced class. See here, how heavy do we want this? We'll just make it seven pounds. And then if we wanted to designate that it's a steel versus wood, we just put EQ mod steel. Shields are pretty easy to, to manage. And if you don't want it to have that shield light look, you can also go in here and go output name, shield light, or shield. And that's what we'll display on the character sheet. Okay, armor. I'm actually going to cheat here and pull up an existing suit just to speed up our time.
time here. We'll go down here to armor shields. We'll go with everyone's favorite a chain shirt. We'll toss that in there. So chain shirt's the name of our equipment. We've got that proficiency tag designating this as a piece of armor and chain shirt is the proficiency. And then we tell PC Gen this is indeed armor. We're designated whether it's a light, medium, or heavy. Uh, PC Gen does have code in here that when you have armor, if it's designated as light, medium, or heavy, it will implement the penalties for the various uh, classes. If it's a medium or heavy, it's going to reduce their speed. We call the suit, and this is a standard piece of equipment. So I got a cost of 100 gold pieces. It's 25 pounds. It's going to take two off of your uh, for your penalty, which will combine with the shield if we were to be wearing the shield. And that means uh, any of our skills that are designated as modified by the AC penalty will get this penalty modifier here. So that would be a minus three to those skills. Uh, we've designated this as a steel piece of equipment. We're telling PC Gen that you can only have a dexterity bonus maximum of four while wearing this piece of equipment. And then we designate the source page of the source. And we're telling PC Gen there's a spell failure chance with this piece of equipment. And this will actually output on the output sheet at 20%. And then we have our armor designation here with our bonus combat AC tag. We're going to give them four armor. And that is a basic piece of armor. Now, for anything else that you really need in PC Gen, all you need is the name. You can designate the type. If it's magic, I would add the magic tag. This actually bolts the item in our output sheets to reflect that it's special or unique. And then you can do miscellaneous, wondrous, or however else you'd like to designate the item. This does uh, affect the UI on, on how it shows up in the various filtered tree views. And if you want to actually have anything special with your item, you can use this S prop or specialty prop special properties tag and explain that this item is cool. And that is how you make the four basic categories of, of equipment. Your weapon, your shield, your armor, and anything else that you can come up with. Um, equipment will accept tags. You can do bonus checks. You have a fortitude bonus. We'll call it competence if you'd like. And so anytime you equip this item, it becomes it will give you that bonus there. If you um, wanted to occupy a certain slot, a body slot, uh, you'd have to look at the game mode slots. But ring is for rings. Uh, head is for your head. Headgear, I believe, is what we've renamed it to. Yep, there we go. Headgear. Bodywear. No. If you do armor, it's going to take the armor slot, obviously. Shield will take a shield slot. A weapon will take a weapon slot, etc., etc. Okay. Now, let's say I want something special here. EQ mod. Special. I'll go into my EQ mods. special stuff. Make sure my key matches the EQ mod. So he's explained keys are what you need to use to identify the object you're going for. And then I designate what type of equipment this will actually work with. So if I put miscellaneous or magic, anything that's either magic or miscellaneous this will apply to. I can do the plus tag here and that will do follow the formula for adding pluses to like a weapon or I can do a straight cost this is how much gold it's going to cost visible qualify only shows items that will show up if I give it a eye type this is what's applied to it on top of all the other uh, types that we've 
placed on it. So I'm going to do special. Now it's going to have a special height type. The name optional tag de designates where the name will show up if you want it to. And then you can do a pre-type. And this is, I'll show you the existing one here. A pre-type will say it's either got to be a weapon or ammunition. And it can't be masterwork, mithril, adamantine, or darkwood already. back here. These are definitely different costs. And you can see you got the enhancement bonus. Remember, um, masterwork does not stack with enhancement bonuses. So the, the coder put this as an enhancement. So if you do take a plus one and this is already applied, it won't stack. And this is only going to apply to the two hit. And you'll notice that we actually designate this with a bonus weapon tag. A uh, bonus weapon tag only applies to the weapon it's attached to. Well, that's just kind of a basic overview of how you make your basic equipment, tie it into your weapon proficiency or your shield proficiency, and how uh, equipment modification uh, tags will work in conjunction with your equipment. All right, thank you for tuning in. hope this was helpful to uh, those of you out there in homebrew land, and uh, tune in next time.